Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Turner for NEC Front Row, here to bring you the inaugural edition of the top seven plays from the NEC Spring Sports. Starting off at number seven, Wagner Skyler Johnson breaks the school pole vault record with a jump of 15 feet five inches, a mark that currently stands as the best in the NEC. Coming in at number six, Robert Morris's Haley Stocks with a diving stop and the flip to second base for the force out. Nicole Slee still on the mound out there for the Colonials. Here's the one-two. And that's diving play. Wow, nice play out at second. Great play by the second baseman, Haley Stocks. Diving play. At number five, Mount St. Mary's Bubba Johnson with a shake and bake. Johnson scores, and the Mount get the win. Back up. From the nice pass to Johnson, who takes the shot and puts it behind Dodge. A wonderful finish from Johnson. Number four, LIU Brooklyn's Jen Peters, the NEC Women's Lacrosse Player of the Week, starts to drive, thinks better of it, spins out, and scores to extend the Blackbirds' lead. And she scores. Jen Peters, 15 to 10. Number three. Robert Morris's Kristen Gaybelt hits a bomb of a home run here against Mount St. Mary's. Here's the pitch, and that one's crushed into the left field. Wow, that was absolutely gone. Our number two play comes from Hobart's Alex Love. The senior waits, waits, and scores the game winner in overtime for the second week in a row for the Statesman. There's the shot and the goal. Love does it again. He puts everybody to sleep, and he wins it for the Hobart Statesman. And our top play of the week comes from St. Joseph's men's lacrosse. Mike Restivo scores to tie the game up with Bryant with six seconds left. Then the Hawks win the faceoff, and Ryan McGee finishes the game off in dramatic fashion. A shot score by number three, Mike Restivo, and he just tied this one up. With a guy like Kevin Massa taking the face off, six and a half seconds is plenty of time if Bryant can win this. So it'll be Massa against Lanham. Critical face off here, six seconds to go. We are tied at seven. Massa does not come up with it. It's Lanham coming the other way quickly. Two seconds, a shot. And it looks like it went in. What are they gonna rule it? They're gonna rule it a goal. Buzzer beater win, and I cannot believe it, St. Joe's just got the victory. And there they are, your top seven plays from the past week in NEC Spring Sports action. I'm Kyle Turner for NEC Front Row, and I'll be back next Tuesday with another edition of the NEC Spring Sports Top 7 Plays.